Hey there, it's Summer here from the Bonjuro team and I'll be guiding you through how you can use our mobile app. If you are new to Bonjuro, we suggest that you get fully set up on our desktop so you can connect your own email, set up your message templates, set up any integrations as well. All right, let's get started. First, you'll need to open up the mobile app and when you first open up the mobile app, you will land on your task list. The app task list syncs with your desktop view and each task on the list represents a contact that you'll be recording a video message for using the app. If the contact is already in the task list that you're ready to record a video for, simply click in and start recording. However, I'm quickly going to run through how to create a new task. Click the yellow plus button and then follow the flow by entering in the contacts details, the email, full name, task identifier, assignee for the task, and then hit record. You'll then see that task in your task list. So quickly clicking into that one and then hitting record now. You can see here you're also able to view some information about that user. If it is a domain address, you can click in to view their website. You can also bring over custom fields from your CRM or email automation tools to customize the experience that much further. And you can also view the history of sends that you've sent that person from Bonjuro if you've sent to them in the past. Once you're ready to start recording, just hit the red button and then hit it again when you have completed. Then you'll be taken to the screen where you can preview the recording as well as select your message template. Again, these will have been set up on your desktop application. So choose the temp template you would like. And if you'd like to adjust any of the text, you can do that here as well. Once you're ready to send, just simply hit send and be sure to stay inside the app as the send uploads completely. Once it has uploaded completely, you can then view the send under the results tab. A few of the features to quickly be aware of inside of the app, you can filter your task list via newest, oldest, and also assignee. So this is a really great feature for teams to be able to view the different task lists for different assignees. You can also view by workspace, which will allow you to keep your task list organized and only view that workspace at a single time. You can also use the search bar to search through for a contact. And if you need to view any of your profile details, simply click into the upper right hand corner and view those details here. That's the overall run through of the mobile app. Happy bonding, everybody.